what is good with y'all man so today i'm doing my very last um 50 out of 50 eagles theme team just showcasing the team you know i used to always do this at the end of the month um, this is gonna be my last one for madden 21 until madden 22 of course you already know i'm still rock the eagles theme team to the day i die but for madden 21 this is the very last one um i don't know how many changes we've made i haven't played madden i don't know two weeks probably now it's gotta be so yeah let's go ahead and look at the team now and see who the hell we even got we're gonna go through the whole entire team backups and everything because this is it um i know they just downloaded madden too i didn't even have it downloaded so let's go ahead and go through everybody all right the offensive line right left tackle we got matt light matt light's probably been on my team since you know he came out with the team diamonds and shit uh i went they got me a nice stack d line and yeah that's just you know how that went uh backup we got andre dillard right he got obviously dillard doesn't play just there for the eagles chemistry's right uh left guard we got russ grim russ grim is probably the best left guard in the game i mean there's probably some other left guards with similar stats height and all that but he's a pretty fucking good left guard you see he's got a identifier on uh matt Pryor is the backup right you just need that eagles chemistries um center we got mr jc kelsey who has post up post ups were very good for madden 21 if you were a runner definitely would have recommended post ups the left guard center and uh right guard left guard right guard center put post ups on them them boys are going to block that's a really good ability uh the backup for him is nate her big i don't even know i don't even know who he is i'll be honest uh right guard we got jire evans who is uh probably the best right guard in the game i don't even know i mean the lineman i have i made sure i had the best lineman in the game because you know what i mean i need to make sure we're blocking run and running and passing we got to block y'all got to block you know what i mean and uh this line definitely did that back up right guard we got a good old jason peters that's 22 is probably gonna be the first man in a while where he's not gonna be on my team as an eagle at least let's say drop like some flashback or something i don't know though uh, right tackle, we got Tristan Wirfs. He's got edge protector. Tristan Wirfs is probably the most athletic lineman in the game. He's got speed. He's like 86 speed or something like that. He's crazy. Uh, the backup right tackle is Lane Johnson. They did Lane Johnson's card a little dirty. That Super Bowl card, it was just uh, strength was really low on it, and that was that was the killer for because strength is very important offensive lineman. You want to have some strong linemen, don't want to have weak linemen. Tight end right, we got Robert Woods. He should still be the best tight end in the game unless somebody else came out. I don't, I doubt it. You know, Robert Woods is probably still the guy. Uh, my number two tight end was Kyle Pitts. Pitts is a, he's a monster. He's a, he's a freak of nature, an athlete. That's all we got on this team is athletes. Y'all know that. Uh, and the third tight end was Mar Mark Bavaro. He's an eagle. Um, he's a pretty good run blocker. So if I come out eye form or certain formations, I'll sub him in for about the uh, extra blocking you know to help out and shit so yeah that, those are the tight ends uh receivers right we got Devontae smith he's six foot great route running uh strong he's got hands he was a good card for when we used him uh receiver number four is d jackson you're probably wondering well, how come you had put Jalen rager over him you said you weren't gonna do it basically i didn't know that Jalen rager was five foot eleven and you know what i always say five foot eleven is the brand is the new six foot I didn't know that, so I was like, all right, you know me, height means a lot to me. I thought he was like literally the same height as D-Jax was shorter than him, so I was like, hell no, I'm not putting him over D-Jax. But yeah, then he was 5 foot 11, so I was like, all right, we got to throw him in the lineup. So yeah, that, that that's why Rager got put up in there, right? Running back number uno, we got Shady. I loved using Shady. From the time we used him to the time I started playing Madden, Shady was fun. Had jukebox on him. That man had a nasty juke and spin move. Nasty. Uh, running back two is Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders might be the only card besides Vic, because Vic came out a little bit later. Barry Sanders might be the only card to be on my team. He, he's probably the card that's been on my team the longest. Because I got Barry. Remember when he had the um the team, the first team diamond card? I got that pretty early. So, and he's never left my team since. He's never left my team since. So Barry's been on my team the longest. I love Barry. You know what I mean? Even when he has to, well, he, he, he has missed the Butterfingers, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Running back number three, we got Miles Sanders. I actually used this card a pretty decent amount when it first came out. I used it from way past the sell-by date. It, I like Miles Sanders, you know what I mean? He was a dub for me. Uh, QB, of course, you know, I got Michael Vick. No matter what the Madden is, no matter what they say, I, Michael Vick's going to be my quarterback. Michael Vick's my favorite athlete to ever play any sport, period. Vick's going to be a quarterback for me no matter what. I don't, I don't give a fuck. 
You know what I mean? He was a dub. Uh, backup, I did have Vince Young. Um, I had Lamar. I remember I had Lamar. Uh, but then I got Vince Young because I was just like, I was just like, fuck it. You know what I mean? I was just like, fuck it, whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, fullback, we got Lorenzo Neal. I don't think he's the best fullback in the game right now. I think some other fullbacks have came out, but Lorenzo's still definitely a really good option. Um, I had Herschel Walker backup because you could actually put his out of position. Uh, you could put him at you can put him at fullback, change the position on his card. So it just helped out with the chemistries and shit. Uh, receiver number two was obviously big body, six foot eight, Carmichael. You know what I mean? Carmichael's a demon. And uh, receiver number five, we got Andre Johnson who could easily be probably a starter for me but you know honestly yeah uh, yeah yeah but it's like fuck it yeah it's like fuck it all right defense 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 here we go uh free safety we got mr anthony harris he was definitely a really good card i'm not gonna lie i was surprised i thought it was gonna be a mediocre card subpar i don't know about it but he ended up being one of my best cards on my defense the guy balled out he definitely balled out uh, right, my right outside linebacker, my um, one of my edge rushers, Jadavian Clowney. The man gets straight pressure. The man just gets straight pressure. He was uh, it was hard for me to give up Derek Thomas, but I realized we got to get some more pressure. You know what I mean? Oh, we I didn't even show you the backups. Free safety too, though. We had Jordan Poyer. Uh, I, he used to play linebacker for me for a very long time. He was really good, but you know then I. I decided to get some actual linebackers just to see what happens because I remember I was running a little bit of 3-4 and shit because um, I needed help stopping the run and that actually did help me stop the run. So, yeah. Uh, Duke Riley is our backup right outside linebacker. The man was a special teams beast. I remember, bro, on special teams, he would come down there. He, he'd hit stick you and he'd you drop on that ball, bro. The man was a menace. But, uh, but my linebacker one, I got Patrick Willis. I do have Lurker on him. Linebackers with Lurker, they work. Even if you're not using him and you have lurk on him, you click onto him real quick, he'll jump and get the ball. So, in my opinion, linebackers were a dub when they made that um, switch to where Lurker was one AP for the linebackers. So, yeah. Uh, my third linebacker, though, Sam Mills, obviously doesn't play. The guy's a midget, and yeah. Also, I don't think he's very... I don't know how fast he is, but... Uh, linebacker two for me is Roquan Smith. He has secure tackler, and he has Lurker. Roquan was a monster. No, I'm, Roquan used to make some goddamn plays for me. He would shut that fucking run down. I like Roquan. And uh, my fourth linebacker is Jordan Hicks. Uh, the guy never touches, never gonna touch the field. The guy was, you know what I mean? Uh, my left outside linebacker is Takio Taco. St to this day, still not to say his name. I'm calling him Taco to the day I die. Taco Spikes. Um, he did get a power expansion, I remember. But he still sucked. With, with, with the power expansion, the guy still sucked. Kind of, it's kind of crazy. Uh, the backup left outside, left outside linebacker, Sean Bradley, just another guy, just needed for the chemistries. You know what I mean? Strong safety. We got Beatock. He has been my strong safety since the day he came out. So I'm pretty sure that was a while ago. But I mean, there's no reason to get rid of him. The guy's 99 speed. He's a, he's a demon. He makes plays. You know what I mean? Uh, backup strong safety is Eric Rowe. Sometimes Eric Rowe will play a little bit. I remember I would put him in for my um, if I would come out of nickel normal. Sometimes I, I would maybe sub him in there a little bit, put him at linebacker here and there. Because uh, Eric Rose, he's like six foot one. Like, the guy's pretty big. You know what I mean? You know, hey, you know I love my big bodies. You know what I mean? So Eric Rose was cool. Uh, cornerback number one, Darius Slay. He's got Acrobat on. Uh, big play Slay came out a very long time ago. You could probably still say he's arguably one of the best corners in the game. Maybe, I don't know. I, you know, I haven't been keeping up with the game as much, but big play Slay is a demon. Uh, DRC is cornerback number four. This is probably one of the worst corners I use this whole year. I remember when his 50 card first came out. I mean, I had the guy juiced up all 40 out of 40 sprinter. I had the 50 out of 50 Eagles and I had locked down on him and I swear to God, he sucked. Everybody remembers that. I know everybody remember those days, bro. The guy was a bum. I never see somebody with such stack stats and suck. DRC will never and i mean never i will never pick him up in another madden again i swear to god it's not happening hell no nobney is my slot corner a lot of people always ask why i put nobney at the slot and basically it's because he's six foot three you know i want him to kind of play that because I, I ran nickel normal i ran you know a lot i run nickel normal a lot of people probably like why do you run nickel normal why i don't you know i like to be different a little bit and i ran nickel normal since i started playing madden and i'm gonna keep running 
and i like to have him kind of in that middle because the slot for me we either, the slots either get manned up which means i want my best corner in the slot because i want you know inobni is my best man probably i don't know maybe my best corner best man corner i'll say that so you know my slot corner gets manned up a lot you know he's playing in the middle of the field a little bit i, I just need height i need bigness i need strength i want someone strong in there and that's what Nobni gives me and the guy it was amazing my right end my other edge rusher javon curse he's got edge threat uh javon was a monster javon was on my team almost the whole year almost the whole year javon was on the team that man his 50 card was crazy uh the backup right end is brandon graham who never got another upgrade surprise surprisingly he didn't get another upgrade usually brandon graham gets some upgrades i remember last year he got that super bowl card it was all right it was a you know what i mean but kind of fucked up uh d tackle number uno we got big fletch you already know big fletch this card uh this card is really good. Fletcher Cox cards are always good. You know what I mean? D tackle number three. I got the glove. The glove didn't really play anymore because it got to a point where if I came out and like when I came out three four, I would put in um, Javon and Jadavian off the edge, and then I would go for the uh, three middle line and the D tackles. I would go Fletch, the fridge, and I go Reggie White. So the glove started playing, stopped playing a little bit towards the end, but. Throughout the year, the glove definitely made plays for me. Uh, D tackle number two, though, we got the fridge. The fridge is probably one of the best D tackles I've used in like shedding wise in a Madden in a while. Uh, he just sheds. He sheds on the run. He he gets to the quarterback. Fridge is nice. He's definitely one of the best D tackles I've used. Uh, D D tackle number four, though, we got J uh, Javon Hargrave. He never got another upgrade. Rightfully though, he probably didn't really deserve one. What has he done? You know what I mean? Uh, left end though we got Reggie White who's really also kind of one of my D tackles uh, Reggie was good you know what I mean he makes plays his card is always good somewhat in the beginning of the year when guys are slower and you can juice them up off the chemistry so he'll be a little bit faster because he's gonna shed you know what I mean so Reggie's always nice and then uh, left end number two is Josh Sweat he's just there for the cams that's all it is right cornerback uh, number two we got William Jackson William Jackson is six foot and I'll be honest the guy was amazing. I, he he was never gonna leave my team. I mean, I, he he just made plays. He just William Jackson made some fucking plays. So he was never going nowhere. But uh, he had acrobat six foot nine. Nice to be the guy who makes plays. Cornerback number five. We got Nickel Roby Coleman, the slot god. Uh, he never played. I don't think he ever touched my field. When we did the uh, the twenty twenty Eagles, he played. When you know we did that team, he played. But on my actual team, no, he did not play. But yeah so that's the defense um special teams right i got cameron johnston who i don't even think he's not eagle anymore if i'm not mistaken uh c bass you know you gotta have c bass best kicker in the game 99 kick power long snapper jason kelsey uh kick returner i had barry out there you know little, little man barry even though he fumbles that ball a lot but fuck it um so my my third down power back shady of course he's getting the ball every single down slot receiver Devontae smith my sub linebackers Pat Willis, Roquan, um, and yeah, that is pretty much the team. If you want to, guys want to see the chems here, uh, 66 out of 50 play fake, 59 out of 50 lockdown, 50 out of 50 eagles, 43 out of 40 sprinter, 33 out of 40 uh, brawler. Usually what I use the brawler on is my offensive line and some other things. I think I have it on Lorenzo Neal. I got it on my old line. I got it on some of my D linemen like Big Fletch, The Fridge, Reggie White. Uh, just so I can get that extra strength. The strength I've actually learned is that it actually is important in Madden. Uh, over the years, I always thought it was a nothing stat, but no, the strength is actually somewhat important in Madden. So, but yeah, that's the team. This is the last team reveal because I'm not playing Madden 21 uh, the rest of the year. I'm done. Madden 22, though, I'm ready to grind it. I'm ready. You know what I mean? I'll, I will be ready, I should say. I, I, right now, I'm, I'm loving this time off, Madden. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. Life is relaxing. Don't have to sweat it out. Don't got to get angry. It's relaxing, but... um. If you guys want to send me your teams, the link to my Twitter and Instagram is down below. I can make a video out of it. You can pull up, always come to the streams. We stream every night. Pull up through it. I'll, I'll still look at your guys' teams. Uh, just let me know. You know what I mean? Uh, Twitch is also in the link in the description. Everything's in the link. Just look at the description, bro. We got everything down there. But that is going to do it, though, boys. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Fuck with your boy, man. And I'm out.